Got to hand jive, baby. Got to hand jive. I'm not sure you do. So, what's everyone expecting from today's hosts? I can't imagine Jack and Tom's day is going to be stress free. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's room for Tom in the kitchen with Jack, no. No, I don't Do think you? so either. We shall see. First up, dessert. Jam roly-poly blondie with vanilla custard and marinated berries. I'm all over that. You're all over that, a blondie. I am all over that dessert. Yeah. That is right up my street, that dessert, yeah. I think it's probably a blondie with bits of jam and bits, say, a bit, a bits of jam and some, yeah. Spot on. A melted butter and white chalky concoction is churned up with eggs and ground almonds and it's ready to bake. Do you think it's going to make its own custard? I don't know. I hope so. You're in luck. A little secret ingredient for the custard, a nice big pinch of sea salt. Was that your idea? Yep. Now, how's that roly-poly dough? Maybe it's a little bit. Nah. She done? She done. Let her rest and kill. Nice. Just wondering what your most embarrassing or funny moment is. So, I had a kitchen pot once. Ah, kitchen porter. Anyone we know? I gave him about, I think it was probably about six nets of mussels. <laughs> and I simply cleaned them, you know, like, pick them down, <laughs> clean them off. And about 20 minutes later, the whole kitchen just filled with the smell of cooked mussels. As the guy opened the dishwasher... Oh, you never I just did fell it. Away. <laughs> never. Yeah. Yeah. So, was that about Tom? <laughs> no <laughs> way. <laughs> <laughs> I can neither confirm nor deny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Were they still in the oh. net, so? Oh, mate, they were cooked. <laughs> they were busted out, the whole kitchen's like stunk of mussels. And we are all like, oh, oh, no, 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 you haven't, you haven't, you haven't. I, I, believe, I believe I recall your exact words were, Tom, I'd usually have your back, but you're on your own in this yeah. time. <laughs> <laughs> um, the one regret is I should have made him eat the lot. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I, I didn't know what any of us were going to do. That was like a weekend's worth of... <laughs> oh, man. I genuinely thought when they were telling the story that we were going to hear about a sink full of hot, soapy water. Do you know what I mean? Not through the washing machine. No way. Mills Fairy liquid. <laughs> no one could beat that story. That's unbelievable. I knocked myself out with a 3.4 kilo red cabbage once. <laughs> so you did what? Pardon? Yeah, so one of the, one of the uh, cabbage came from our supply, it was massive. So one of the lads had picked it up, we were like playing with it. It looked like a footy, so we just threw it up and I was like, here, Jedi! Fag! Nedded it and just hit the deck. <laughs> I don't know Jack that well, but I imagine that had what he'd be doing on a daily basis. Yeah. Just nutting cabbages. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully no lasting damage. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Lot of beige. Yeah, it was a lot of beige for me, and it's like carbs on carbs on carbs on carbs. So initially, it's really tasty, but I can taste the spice all the time. Yeah. Mmm. Nice, mm. Mm. Which nice. bit spicy? All of it. <laughs> <laughs> that gravy is spicy for me. It's so bad, really? that, isn't it? Yeah. There's a level of not liking spice, but then being very sensitive to spice at the point where things aren't spicy. She's like, oh, mate, thank God we haven't put black pepper in the food. She's just fuming. <laughs> Even though it was really, really tasty, it, the spice spoiler for me, I would have finished it if it wasn't for the spice. I'm, like, carb-loading tonight. Yeah. Like we're bulking now. Yeah, it's a lot I of carbs for me. I can't I like make these. Them. I these. Yeah. Same, same fondant process or what? The exact same fondant process you would, yeah, yeah. And then chill them, portion them, deep fry them. <laughs> I think the main is them guys on a plate, like, full-on, rich food, like, you know, bold, boisterous, like, just Out there. whack, bam. Mm. I couldn't do it. Mm. I literally had a little bit of each to try it all, but I think that was it. There's a lot of food. Yeah. We just wanted to get our feel, our favourites, our best sellers out there. So if that was the wrong choice, it was the wrong yeah, choice. Yeah. But we took the dart, is yeah, what it yeah. is. So if you did own your own restaurant, what would you call it? Jackie T and Tommy D's uh, culinary menagerie. Are you no. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you 100% of what you asked for <laughs> for 20% of the company. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean... They're thinking of opening their own business, God love them. <laughs> Only Mr Thomas Dryden singing Britney Spears! <laughs> this is Tom's time to shine. Oh, baby, baby, how was I supposed to know? I would not expect that from Tom. 
I wasn't expecting it to happen. Nobody <laughs> expected Britney Spears to come out of his mouth. Now that I'd like to see. My loneliness is killing me. And I... The ice cream base is whipped up and knocked down. I get knocked down. Enough left over? Loads of ice cream. Whoa, 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 whoa! Surely a mop will do! Oh, it's for the desiccated coconut. That's fine then. Once torched, it's combined with what's left of the cream. I'm a bit worried it's going to be a bit of a bitty ice cream. Crunchy. Crunchy? Texture. 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 Texture's good. And we're all about texture. Hopefully your guests are too. It's churned and then frozen. Zing. Mm. Doesn't even taste like fish. I don't know if I'll be a fish convert, but I, I didn't hate it, so... I've heard worse. <laughs> Come on, mate. One little note. Oh. Mate, you didn't well, have to go that big. Yeah, it was commitment, that. As soon as I taste it, I can taste how tasty it is. Success, then! Well, there's some jelly blitz. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh it is. Get some water. Maybe not. <laughs> Are we on the milk? Tasty. Are we on the milk order? Cool. Get a Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was really, really tasty, and then all of a sudden, oh, my God. I was like, wow. I need numblings. It's a little bit look at the draw because I left some quite big bits of chili in the hay skewers. Um, she could have got none. I think she might have got a couple of big bits. Absolutely love the chicken, by the way. Nice. Very nice. The satay chicken was unbelievable. Yeah. The hay lollipop was stunning. Like, it had a lovely bit of heat to it, but it was like fishy. It was fragrant. Like, that was absolutely perfect. Mm. Really enjoyed this. Really don't eat that. Is that my seat? Well, it's just lemongrass. Oh, I thought it was asparagus. I thought it was asparagus. It's lemongrass, Maria. Yeah. Oh, I'm just chopping away a bit of lemongrass. I was like, mate, it's always, it'll taste nice, but you won't be able to taste anything else for the rest of the day. <laughs> Why uh, Southeast Asian cuisine? I, I've just always loved it. I spent a bit of time out there when I was younger. I was working on yachts at the time, on boats. I was a, sa I was, I was a sailor. He fits you know the role, I mean? doesn't he? Yeah, he's I a very... can see him in a tricorn hat. I could see him being a Like great... a pipe out of his mouth yeah. or something, sailing the seas. Rah. I'm Captain Birdseye. You're going a bit more like a pirate there. <laughs> <laughs>